All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to Lost Heroes, right here on the VNs Now TV. A uh, let's play of this Zelda fan game for Nano Run 2015. I am JP the Third of VNsNow.com, always with you. And we are going to pick right back up where we left off with Link sulking quietly. Somehow that just seems very in character for him. Link stands off in some corner of the courtyard by himself, holding a glass of wine. Uh, Should've been milk. He hated these things. One awkward encounter after another, placating some nobles. The silly banquet is a sham in order to distract everyone from the real underlying issues. Something awful is brewing right beneath their feet. And I think we all know where this is going. He attempted to get Zelda to take the matter more seriously, but it was like she was afraid to admit there was a problem. That... Okay, like I said, I've just gotten into the Zelda series some years ago. It's only been about maybe five or six years. So, fans of the game will have to tell me whether or not Zelda was kind of this flippant noble during the Ocarina of Time game. Uh, because when I picked up the series in, uh, what was it, Twilight Princess? She was much more competent. I mean, if someone came to her and said, hey, I don't think it's clear yet, we probably shouldn't party. She would be saying, yeah, you're probably right. Um, this sounds more like Princess Peach. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Their problems aren't just going to go away. He tries to remain hidden, but it is it is not easy. Well, you are there's a big statue outside of the, of the city for you, so he looks over to see Zelda attempting to talk with Orson, but even he can tell she's starting to get tired of him. He noticed him snooping around the courtyard earlier, getting dangerously close to things he should not ever be touching. What, there's flowers? There's a vine thing there? What's so dangerous? Zelda observed this as well and tried to draw his attention away from any guard-heavy areas, but she looks like she's, she is now suffering for it. He didn't blame her, and the man is unbearable. Okay, if everybody knows that, why is he here? The true reason why he held his tongue when it came to the real story of what happened at the Water Temple is because it meant the people had someone else to serenade. He appreciated their kind words, but there are times when it felt overwhelming. I don't know about this characterization for Link. Like, it makes sense. Any human would, like, any human who would go on, like, a soldier or something like that, they wouldn't want that kind of attention pointed to them. But in a fantasy setting, after you just spent all your time time hopping to defeat a great evil, you wouldn't want to be... You know, you wouldn't want to be the center of attention, but at the same time, you wouldn't be there in the first place. You would just say, you know what, I got a farm, and I got stuff growing on the farm, and I'm just going to go to the farm. Maybe take a nap, you know, get some milk on the farm. I, <laughs> I don't know what you say, <laughs> but the um, barring any romantic feelings, which he, they haven't proven here either, I don't know, I'm, oh, I'm way overanalyzing it. Let's get to the... Keep going. The days he spent at the castle are the longest of all. Zelda wants to make him captain of the guard, but he enjoys the freedom he has to, ro he has to roam around Hyrule. Is that selfish? What is he supposed to be doing now that the war is over? His whole life has revolved around Ganondorf. With cleanup all but finished, there is not much left to do but make sure monster population is kept in check. Although that seemed to be a tougher task more recently. A woman, brush, a woman brushes past him. Oh, sorry. The woman smiles at him and continues on her way, but he feels a cold chill go through him. Curious, he finishes off his wine and starts to follow her, but she's hard to keep track of in, a crowd of, in the crowded courtyard. Are we gonna... Oh, really? <laughs> Look at this obviously evil person, but this gets... This goes back to a point I was trying to make... Um, earlier, elf ears, elf ears, normal human ears. So, are there humans in the Zelda games? Because in all the Zelda games I played, they're basically elves. The and there's um the main fact the Hyruleans are all basically elves, and you have Ganondorf's people, and after that you get rock people, sea people. You get a lot of different types of people, but not actual human beings. So, shouldn't their ears be pointy? I'm, I'm just saying. Why are they? No, that's just that's just a tick that I'm on. Uh, forgive me. He finally sees her interrupt the conversation between Orson and Zelda, and he starts rushing towards them in fear. 
Hello, have we met before? Another commences with the pleasantries and the woman smiles sinisterly. Seriously. Zelda and Hyrule will see this woman coming from a mile away. She's so obviously evil. No, but you will know me soon enough. Excuse me, miss, but I was talking. Is he dead now? A blast of magic ripples through the courtyard, sending Orson into the buff buffet table. They get screaming and run for the exit while Link shakes his head trying to recover from the blinding attack. He searches the room until he sees her standing on a large open flower holding an unconscious Zelda. Zelda! He calls out, hoping to know my, your highness or anything like that. Hoping to wake her but to no avail. Let her go! You want to save her, hero? Come to the underground passage west of Kok Kokiri Forest. I think I pronounced that right. Make sure you come along if you care for the safety of your queen. Like, has this character, or is this a character new for this particular game? Is she the big threat? He quickly notches an arrow and fires head at her. The flower closes up around them and explodes into a shower of petals, leaving no one there. He curses himself for letting this happen again. <laughs> Excuse me. I chase Salmonek as he heads towards the courtyard. It may not be the best idea, but considering that earthquake, I'd rather not be alone right now. However, by the time we make it to the courtyard, the battle has already ended. I scan the area and see Orson lying within the remains of the buffet table covered in food. He grows quietly while when I tap him with the toe of my boot. I find disappointment. Still alive. Why are you still... Uh, moving on. Link, what's... Link, what's going on here? Where's her highness? A sorceress came and took her right, right in front of me. I couldn't stop her before they both disappeared. I can see how frustrated he is at his failure to protect her, but there probably wasn't much he could do. Here's the... Th okay. I agree and disagree with that. Um, what's the game? The game where uh, on the 3DS where the guy is turning all of the people in Hyrule into paintings. Uh, that scene probably worked, would have worked better instead of just taking her and going and saying, hey, come and find me. Because uh, I, I know it's just a fan game, but the only way clearly to stop Link is to try and stop Link, quote unquote. Turn him into a wolf, turn him into a painting, do something, but for God's sakes, do not leave the hero of time and legend in his full form with his, all his weapons and just waiting for him to come after you. This should be well known, even if you remove the games that I was just talking about with the paintings and stuff in Twilight Princess. By the end of Ocarina of Time, any bad guy with a brain will go, uh, shouldn't we at least take his sword or something? I mean, it is the Master Sword of Legend, maybe... I, I don't know. Now, now I'm just getting picky, and I'm not even that kind of fanboy. Let's move along. That witch. I uh, didn't do my pompous voice. She caught me off guard while I wasn't looking. Orson is still attempting to wipe the sauce off his clothes. I'm sure he was as big of big a help as always. She was some manner of earth mage. I don't know what she wants, but she gave me a meeting place and told me to come alone or else. Well, we don't have much of a choice, do we? Wait, were they honestly just going to send him in alone? It's obvious whoever this was would have something waiting for him. You were speaking up. Gonna do the right thing. You can't go along. What if she's planning something? Trying to get you both together in one place for some nefarious plot. You know, the absolutely blinding, stupid, obvious point here. I blurred out my thoughts like it's, a <laughs> like it's a scene out of one of my novels. Their expressions mimic their shock and I seem back in embarrassment. I just, you know, heard, how, heard that's how these things happen. She's right. What if she's after the Triforce? A suggestion, my good sirs. Orson suddenly appears between the both of them, making them jump. I will accompany Link on this quest. Two heroes are certainly better than one. With all due respect, my lord, I was thinking someone with a tad more experience. Dominic tries to talk him out of it, but Orson cuts him off in fury. More experience? Kaita! He snaps his fingers as if some that's somehow my cue. I roll my eyes. Inform this man who he is speaking to at once. Orson the Great, 
set slayer of over a hundred deadly beasts, a legend known throughout the land. I deliver my lines with the same enthusiasm I would describe I would describing a piece of stale bread. <laughs> yes, we'll have to work on that delivery, but I am more than capable of taking down some flower summoning witch. But he has skill despite his appearance. I need you and the guard to stay here to defend the castle in case something else happens, Captain. Captain? As in guard captain? As you wish, sir. He reluctantly agrees as he's outnumbered in his argument. Don't worry, I'll handle this woman and return with the queen unharmed. It's amazing how good he is at this hero role. I'm not sure why he is, he, he is bringing orcs in though. He isn't stupid. Hurry if you're coming, my lord. We can't waste any more time while Zelda is in danger. Right, Kaiser, come along. What? No way. I've had enough taste of death and magic to last a lifetime. I think I'll stay here. I don't want to get in the way. Arson grabs me by the arm and starts dragging me by force despite my protest. Seriously, somebody, somebody hit this guy. Anybody. I will take a firm piece of fish to the face at this point. We reach the entrance to the passage by the time the sun is coming up over the horizon. I rode in back of Orson and spent most of the night debating simply hopping off. However, all the ghouls I saw hovering around convinced me otherwise. See, here's the thing. And then nobody ended the, by the end of this game, based on the choices we've made, the character won't be this cowardly. But it's that slow progression of Coward, 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 and it's going to suddenly, I know it's going to suddenly snap to, okay, suddenly she finds her inner strength. When it could have just been, okay, slowly but surely, standing up to, for yourself, you, using what you think and actually playing it out, and not just being so afraid of, oh my god, I'm going to have to go home and something might kill me. By this point, like I said, there's got to be two or three people that can get you home. It's just a matter of getting over yourself, and it's not. There's no real slow burn to it. It's just kind of right there at the edge of cinder, right there at the edge of the flick of the um fuse. Excuse me. And the minute we get to like the final scene of this game, it's gonna burst out on the fire and zoom straight to the dynamite. So, I, and it may just be the way this writer likes to write, but I prefer the slow burn over the quick and sudden character development. At least I know I'm safe with Link around. My lord, I suggest you leave your servant here. She is, she's in no way fit to fight a sorceress. While I'm a bit surprised, I'm most definitely relieved. He's right, I'm not at all. Orson doesn't look pleased. The goddess forbid he would have to carry his own sword. Like he's been doing the entire game. Something about this is still leaving me very uneasy, though. I can't shake that feeling. This couldn't be more, more than a tra more of a trap than if a sign was posted on the entrance to the cave. I grab Link's arm before he can enter the cave. Are you sure you know what you're doing bringing him along? <laughs> the guard captain would never have let me leave on my own, and there's no way the sources would take that man seriously. I can handle this alone. I've done it dozens of times. Could you stop the hero act for one second? You're not invincible. You're surprised by my protest. I understand confidence, but things don't always turn out the way we plan them. He relaxes his bed and starts to smile. You always worried as much about everyone. Now it's my turn to be embarrassed. I don't know what causes me to act like this when it comes to him. She wants the D. That is why. Do people still say that, or am I showing my age? I I'm not worried. Just pointing out stupidity when I see it. Of course. He said that as if he doesn't believe me for a second. I turn back to him and go back to tending to the horses. He calls out to Orson to follow him and they both make their way into the turn at the tunnel. I try to put my mind at ease. He's right, he's done this plenty of times, I'm sure. Maybe not this exact scenario, but still. After a few quiet minutes my eyes settle on the bow lash to the side of our horse. I felt like I was getting the hang of shooting before the attack. I suppose it's better than standing around. I take hold of the bow and a few arrows and move a short distance away. Okay, feet parallel and twist at the hips. Link arrives at a large open area with Orson a step behind. He spies Zelda unconscious on the far side of the area in a wooden cage. 
He starts towards her, but another flower grows in his path. Is this poison ivy? The petals open to reveal the familiar sorceress. I believe my instructions were clear. She would have already been dead if I hadn't realized that your companion is a complete nitwit. Look at her hand. That just looks uncomfortable. We don't fear you, witch. What's in charge of the four before Link can stop him? <laughs> Get <the> bitch slapped. Her <laughs> tree roof springs up from the ground and knocks him away. Hilarious. Uh, where's the nameplate? Uh, hilarious. You provided me entertainment and a key to bring him back Ganondorf. Fear shakes him as his worst nightmare is spoken. What? Who are you? I am Marina. I was a follower of Ganondorf before you locked him away. Eh, we'll go with it. I've been gathering up power while the two of you have been reveling in your victory. Your inability to contact the sages and the increase of monsters has all been my doing. Then this should be relatively simple for you. With my powers and a combination of the Triforce, I will bring my lord back from his prison in the Sacred Realm. Over my dead body. Could have said that more courageously. She laughs at the sentiment. Soon enough, dear hero. She stabs a wooden staff into the ground and a spell circle glows beneath her feet. He hears Zelda scream in pain and then he falls to his knees in the same crippling agony. The Triforce piece on the back of sand grows brightly. No, couldn't let her do this. He tries in vain to stand up and fight back, but it's no use. He's forced to watch in horror as Ganondorf steps out of a portal from the Sacred Realm. Really? It's that easy? Is it really that easy to bring back the ultimate evil just, evil, just get them together in the same room? I mean, if it is, that wasted a whole lot of time. Link charges forward through the pain to try and catch Ganondorf off guard, but Ganondorf simply blows him back with a blast of dark magic. He hears the familiar laugh of the Dark Lord and his hand tightens around the hilt of his master sword. We're going to pick it up right here when we get back. It's probably going to be this epic final battle and then probably the end. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Leave a like if you are. Subscribe to the channel for more of this great, great Nano Reno playthrough video stuff that we tend to be doing from time to time. And if, of course, you want more, VNSNOW.com. That is VNSNOW.com for all reviews and extraness of the English visual novel corner of gaming. When we get back, more of the fight, and hopefully I want to see how this artist drew Ganondorf, so maybe we'll see that. Anyway, until next time.